pressurization of the aircraft cabin is mandatory for the comfort of everyone on board the plane at high altitude. And when this system fails, it becomes very difficult for passengers and everyone to survive just two minutes. And this makes the cabin to be depressurized. What exactly is depressurization? This is what we are going to unravel in this episode and our flight is about to take off. I am your aviator captain Austin and today we will be discussing about depressurization in flight or loss of pressure when flying at high altitude. For someone that wants to climb Mount Everest which is about 30,000 feet, he must carry a supplementary oxygen for him to be able to breathe because the higher you go up there in the sky the lower the atmospheric pressure so also the oxygen concentration this means that the oxygen molecules are spread far apart and it becomes difficult for someone to breathe because at this altitude the human body we experience oxygen deprivation, which is also known as hyposia. Hyposia causes impaired vision, loss of memory, loss of consciousness, and ultimately death in a matter of minutes. Under normal circumstances, at 25,000 feet, we can breathe for two minutes without oxygen. At 41,000 feet, which is the cruising altitude for most commercial aircraft. We can only last but 10 seconds without oxygen. How then is it possible for passengers and the crew members to breathe comfortably at this altitude without difficulties? It is simply possible because the aircraft cabin is pressurized. Then what is pressurization? It is the injection of the conditioned air into the aircraft cabin to ensure that everyone is breathing normal at high altitude without having difficulties. What then happens when this system fails when you people are airborne? Your oxygen mask is automatically deployed and it is your responsibility to pull it and place it over your mouth and nose. I repeat, pull it towards your face because the pulling action is necessary to activate the flow of the oxygen from its reservoir. Then the pilot will descend to a safe altitude of about 10 to 12,000 feet where the oxygen mask will no longer be necessary since everyone can now breathe normal. Then you guys will continue your journey until the plane lands. Normally, pressurization failure rarely occurs. And even if it does, these are the likely causes. The malfunctioning of the outflow valve, which is the major component that controls the cabin pressure. Or a minor structural failure, which resulted to the dumping of the cabin pressure. Away from these potential causes, crashes due to pressure system failures are so uncommon. Hence, there is no cause for alarm at all. After all, before any flight, passengers are always briefed on what they should do in the event of cabin pressure failure. And this event they have always been briefed about has just occurred. So just follow the itemized procedure by the pilot and everyone is safe. In conclusion, we can see that flying is not magic or a myth. There is always a scientific explanation to it. I remain your aviator Captain Austin. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell button for notification, share and like and see you next week for another interesting topic. Bye!